Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. These little stone hatchlings in here, they're absolutely fine. So there's another section in there that has now got more critters coming in. And I've got open areas over here. I've got Drecos right in there. I've got several of them and we're starting to get some plastic ones. That's looking pretty good in there. I know that one does generate a bit of heat. Hopefully it won't be too much because I've got all these wheeze warts in here which should help the situation a bit. So that's our plastic generation going on. And, and I'm just waiting for them to sort of finish this bit off. And that way once they've done the new cabling up round there I will then be free. Right actually I want to get uh, deconstruct that ladder right there. I uh, won't deconstruct any more ladder, but we can start just getting a little move on that and tile here and here. Plus, I can put tile here and here, so that's going to be another critter patch right there. Now, i got to be careful that I don't overdo it with these critters, with the stone hatches, because if you end up having too many of them, from my understanding of how all of this works... Too many of them results in a, another type of disaster. You know, you have too many critters in there and you end up like that they'll eat all of the stone. They, they will literally get through all the stone. Now, I know that I've got a lot of raw material here. The moment I think we're feeding them igneous rock. I've got 500 tons of igneous rock. I will just double check. We've got stone hatch and stone hatchling in here. I'm feeding them igneous rock. 500 tons of igneous rock. And I've got 600 tons of granite as well. But this many hatchlings, they will actually start to get through that quite quickly. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful with it going forward. We are going to have to just... Pay attention to what we're doing and make sure that we don't um, really mess this up. Now, the water in here is 30 degrees. It's 20. It's below 30 over on this side. I've got a lot of tropical fry eggs in under here, which is brilliant. It means that we've got a lot of tropical fries coming in. And the great thing about these is that this is now fully automated. I don't actually have to do anything whatsoever to maintain this farm in any way you just wait for the tropical pakus to become at uh, the dive old age right that i don't know why they're glum though why are you glum how, how do you uh critters feeling down because its needs aren't being met it produces less materials and i want them for they're supposed to be producing dirt aren't they how do you... Like, he's overcrowded. There's too many critters in the room for him. Now, I, I don't know with fish tanks how you're supposed to... Know, like, whether that actually counts as a farm or not. Can you put a grooming station in there for them? Does, does that, like, make them happy? I, I don't know very much about the fish. Goes under food. You've got an incubator, an egg cracker, a critter trap. The fish feeder... Dispenses once per day. Critter feeder automatically dispenses. Releases Paku back into the world. Doesn't seem to be anything else. There's a fish trap and there's airborne critters. Like, you can actually make a farm. Farming overlay. Right there. Halted growth, growing. Oh no, that's plant farm. Room overlay right here. Now, I've got that is a stable. Enables grooming station use. Greenhouse enables farm station. So this is a stable. But I can't class, I don't think, a pond as a stable. I don't think you can go and do underwater grooming or anything like that. So I, I don't believe there is anything else you can do with Pakus apart from just stick them in a tank and then leave them. And although the metabolism is way down with the number of eggs that we've got in here... At least they should still be producing something. So I, I, I'm not really sure how that works properly. But at least we've got something going on in there. Salt in here. We're starting to get quantities of salt. But the good thing about this is that one's now working flat out. That one's actually like fully lodged up. I've got 
sand has gone in here where it's um, just kind of filled that up a little bit too much. Uh, it's, it's The sand comes from the polluted water whenever you, you have polluted water and that gets turned into steam. So I know that we've got a bit coming in here and we're using up some of the temperature. But without having it sort of exiting here now, it does come into this room but it doesn't very much. I think that's kind of achieving a balance. I just need them to come in here and clean that off. I might get them to do that. Get them to just dig those two bits off there. And then that, that that's doing fine. So there's my Paku. My um Paku. My, my hatchling farm is going well there. And up here, I've dug out most of what I need on this bit. So I can start getting the grooming station and stuff like that going in here. So put another one into there. And I'll take you. And I'll copy that one. And I'll go to you. And I will copy that one onto there. And it won't count yet because it's not a, it's an unsealed door. So uh, it, it won't actually class as anything just yet. But it's it's on its way to being yet another farm. I mean, you don't have to have them as farms. I think it's just if they're farms, it, it makes it more comfortable for them. So I want corner moldings. I'm going to put a corner molding in there. And I'm going to put one up there. And then I'm going to rotate that round. I'm going to put one on that side. And I'm going to put one on that side as well. And then I'm going to take crown moldings. And put them all the way across there. And I'm going to put them all the way across there as well. Right. So far, so good. Just waiting on bits to be dug out and, and other bits to be done. And then we also have this area up here. But I'm going to just leave that for a minute. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I've got iron being processed over here. Which is using up power. I'd rather they used up the power on that one. I've done... I said that to 99. So I've actually done quite a few... I've got 650 kilos of glass up there. How much glass do I get in a cycle? Look in here. 20. I get 25 kilos of glass in a cycle. I've got 650 kilos of it up there. And then if I go to power and I go to a solar panel right here, this takes 200 kilos of glass to actually build. Uh, well, that was quite a big beastie, isn't it? Right. Okay, so, it I mean, the solar panel is quite big. We want that to be exposed to space. And there's other things that we're going to want to be able to get that one to work. There was one other thing that I wanted. Uh, utility. Uh, automation. It's on shipping. It's the Robo Miner. That's the one that I'm going to want right there. I need a Robo Miner. And then a few other bits so that I can then go up into outer space and start doing stuff up there. So I'm just going to let them finish building this so that we've got the additional uh, hatch farm as well. I've got another one of those running. And that's more coal being processed and coming into the system, which will keep these coal fired ones running. I'm lucky enough at the moment to have the natural gas I've got gas reservoir up there. Uh, the gas supply has now slowed down more to um, what the steady supply of it is. But it's still, I mean, it's still working. Although, yeah, it's, it's now slowed down a lot more. So we've got one tank in there. I've got a little bit that's building up here, but it's not building up a great deal. And this line in here is not backed up down to there, which it was previously. So we're now using up the natural gas. That's using up fairly quickly. Don't know how long it's going to be before it's completely used up, but it, it is now starting to use up. Uh, sand in here. This one's still going. I've got right there glass. I've got 725 kilos of glass. Now, this is brilliant. I love how much glass that I've already accumulated. I need quite a bit. I don't like 
how long it takes for it to do it. It is a little glowy light right there that he had. I think that's a good sign, isn't it? Pretty sure it's a good sign. Uh, how have I got glass in there? Is the sand getting hot enough that it's actually turning into glass in here? Or did someone just accidentally drop it? Now, that's curious. That is very, very curious. How have I ended up with glass in there? Not really sure about that. I'm I'm going to say that maybe it was accidentally dropped in there. I mean, maybe the sand got hot enough with the volcano that it actually melted it. But I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know about that. Okay, this has been running, and you are dormant for another 18 cycles. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to switch that one off now. I think we've got enough water in there. So I'm going to go back to you, and we're going to disable that pump down there. And we can have that one switched off for a little while, because it's still pumping water all the way up here and into the system in here. So kind of, I don't want too much water going in here. That's going to end up causing me problems. It's going to sort of, it's going to end up overdoing it. It's going quite slow. I mean, uh, the people are outside. They're busy doing other errands. They're running around doing extra things. The glass has gone up to 800 kilos. So I'm, I'm still going strong on there. I think... Even though I've got that bit working, I think really I ought to go in here and start getting the whole um, next round of spacesuits ready in here. That's pure salt in there. Pure salt. I don't really know what you use salt for, though. I know that, like, that there is some things that you use salt for, but I'm not fully like clued up on exactly what it would all be for. Dunno. Right, anyway. Uh, station. Atmo suit checkpoint. Right. The suit has to go on the correct side of the checkpoint. So if I want a suit in this system here, I'm going to actually have to make this a bit bigger. I can put that one right up against there if I want to. Or I can put it against over here, but they don't go in here, grab a suit, and then come back out again. That's not how that works. So I could actually just get rid of this. And I'll turn this into a bit of new base. So we will go tile right there. And I'll take that up. And I'll seal that in completely. And I will dig that bit out right there. And then I will go for deconstruction on that bit. And I will deconstruct that bit. And then I'm going to put some base in here. Tile and tile like that. I don't need any more base to go in. We've got a suit out on that side. Base, ladder, that's going to go up to there like that. And that one there is going to be a door that we're going to build. It's going to be a manual airlock that's going to go in there. Uh, so that one we'll eventually get rid of. Now, they shouldn't be coming through with any suits. Right? We we need them to leave the suits there and not come up round the outside and do any suits. We need them to come up on the inside and do this. Then they can put their suit on here. And then after they've done that, then they can sort of run away again and that will be absolutely fine and tickety-boo. I just need them to come in here and actually do this little bit of digging. If I could get them to prioritize that one and that one, that would be great. Just build those in and stop anybody coming from the outside into this bit. Then the rest of that, in order for them to actually, in order for them to access that, I, they can access it from underneath. I'm just going to have to temporarily build a raised platform on here, which is easy enough to do. I'll just do that. So there's a temporary raised platform. 
which means that manual airlock I'll cancel that build and then that one I will deconstruct so that they're able to get through and then I can just leave them to get on with that and not interfere with it I won't worry about it I won't interfere with it I do however want this how are you an unreachable dig no you're not you go up that ladder, you go across... Oh, is it because they're sleeping? Save. And then they get up. Gold. That's not unreachable. You're right next to it. None of it's unreachable. Like, I've, I've got, like... The, oh... No, they come up there and they go across and they go up there. That ladder in there is no longer needed. I can actually get rid of that one. So we will just get them to remove that bit. And that ladder right there, I can deconstruct that one as well. We get rid of that bit. So I don't actually need that on there. Uh, they don't come across here. I mean, that one I will just move up a little bit. And then I've got room for another another section in here. We'll go to you and copy those settings. No, I won't. I'm not going to copy those settings yet. I will take this one and I'll copy the settings and I'll put it onto that one. And you are outside of the stable so you don't count at the moment. That one, critter drop-off storing four of 20 critters. That one shouldn't be... Right, that's not allowing any at the moment. That's, that's not allowing anything at all. Or it shouldn't be. It's saying storing 4 of 20 because it's actually covering the entire base. Because right now, the main base inside is, is not actually covered. Now, now that's not saying that that is required in any way. And I've got more people coming in through. They've gone and done all the other jobs, so they're just they're rushing in now dealing with this bit plus they're also going to deal with that bit in there uh, which means that they can go and build all of that and that will be a sealed unit so I'm also then going to want to dig out two bits on here I'll take them out and I go into the base and we'll take a manual airlock and we'll drop that one in there no I won't I've got a manual airlock here I don't need another one going into there, so I can just remove that. And that ladder, I will be removing, but I won't do that yet. So I'll get rid of those two there, and then we will go with stations, atmos suit checkpoint. So that one needs to be that way round, and it's going to go at that end. And then they'll go on the ladder, and they will go up from here. So I'll drop you in there like that, and then I will take Atmos Suit Dock here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. So I have ten of them, which means that I'm going to go straight down here to the Atmos Suit Forge that I have, the Exo Suit Forge that I've got down here, and I've got Atmos Suits there. I can make iron, or I can make copper. The uh, insulation plus 50, athletics minus 6, Plus 20 centimetres on there. That. I got. 300 kilos out of 24 tonnes. I got plenty of copper. You right there. Oxygen tank. I suppose that makes any difference. Right. And I got 32 tonnes of iron. Excavation plus 10. These are both the same. Scalding threshold is plus 720 degrees. They're both the same. I got 24 tons. I got 32 tons. I'm going to take the copper because that's the one that I'll be using the least elsewhere, I think. And I want to make 10 suits now. Like that. There. So I've now got demands to go and build 10 suits. And someone is already in here and they're going to start going and doing that. At least I'm hoping they are. There's the heavy watt conductive wire. So very, very nearly almost done on this. That the quickly removing the rest of the items on there we've got that little build that needs to be completed on here and then we're gonna need to be able to get power running into those now each of these atmos suit docks 
I've made all of the Atmo suit docks in iron, haven't I? Yeah, all right, you know what, that doesn't matter, that's fine. Uh, an Atmo suit dock right there takes... I don't know how much power it takes. Let's go and have a look at... Let's just go to wire it. 120 watts. So I'm going to need 1,200 watts to be able to run those Atmo suit docks up there. We're just going to put heavy conductive wire right the way in. Which means I'm going to need the heavy conductive thingies here. So I'm going to have to have one sort of clipping from there through the wall right here. I'll do it up by one like that. And we can run in that way and do it. Right. Now, I need them to keep coming in through there. The heavy... Right, they are coming up and they're, they're working on this wire. I'm going to prioritise it, though, I think. Oh. Saying that, I don't think I actually need to. I think they're now delivering enough up here that that wire is about to be completed, which means that I can then go to heavy watt conducted wire over here and I can dismantle and I can take that bit away from there and that run all the way down there and that over to there. Now, I don't know what I built this wire out of. I built that out of copper and I've got this as gold entombed. How on earth did they manage to dig him into that? Holding breath, entombed, toasty surroundings. Deconstruct. Priority nine. He can't actually get out of there. 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 That one. Deconstruct. Nine. That one. Deconstruct. Nine. Maybe I shouldn't have built that to start with. He's suffocating. I... They're all going off to bed. You gotta be kidding me. Bert is dead. Bert is not going to make it. What? Let's just see what skills he's got. What am I going to have to replace? Advanced research. He's got grilling. Improved construction. Improved construction three. Astronomy. Exosuit training. Why are you lot doing this? Why are you lot killing your friend right here? Schedule. No, I'm not. Oh, wait. Default assigned. A night owl, all attributes plus three at night. Some people work better at night. I've been told about this. Like, if I have them working at night, they actually work better at night time than they do during the daytime. I wonder if I can change a schedule. I need to add a new schedule. There. Default schedule. Options. Bedtime. Use bedtime shifts to rest up. No, I don't I don't want you. That that's that's morning, so some of them work better in the morning. Some of them work better at night. So I want work there. Like that, and three bedtime, a bath time. No, wait, bath time needs to go there. And then a, a downtime goes there, like that. So they've got exactly the same as the other ones have got. So now I've got this one here, and I'll rename this one to... Earlier night. Earlier night, like that. And then anyone that has got these signs on them. Downtime morale plus one. Right, earlier night. There, anyone that has got the sunshine 
or the early night. Yeah. All attributes plus two in the morning. And then they'll, they'll sleep during the middle of the day. So there's none of the others have got that. Right, we'll do that. That's to start with. And this bit up here. I'm now going to go priority. Like that. Top priority. Dig those out. And we'll see if they... They're not going to get to him. He's already dead. Seconds in it. There was literally seconds in it. If I'd gotten there just a little tiny bit sooner... I just, I, I'm not going to reverse time. I'm not going to change that round um, in order to try to save him. We're just going to have to accept that. But... It's no longer with us. I've got a place room to be taken there with a tasteful memorial. So we won't worry. We, we'll, we'll leave that go. But it's no longer with us. It's a sad, sad day. Duplicants have died. Yeah, no kidding. Um, now, I am going to want to get some more research done at some point. I've got pathogen stuff up here. I've got catalytics here, oxalite refinery, soda fountain, and a molecular forge for making some rare materials. Then we've got jet suits, jet suit docks, uh, glass blowing for making um, nice things, parallel automation. Let's get some automation going. We'll get that one going in there, shall we? That, that one will uh, do quite nicely. But it's no longer with us, but has passed away, which means that we need to go here and we need to get another duplicant. So uh, you are a binge eater or a sticker bomber. You are an agricultural person. You're a science person, but was a sciencey person. He had research. I really want the nutrient bars right there. 4,000 for nutrient bars. And then I have... Yeah, we'll do that, and I'll have night. Yeah, you know, that, that's a nice lot of food. That is. Wait. Oh, I didn't produce the nutrient bars after all. So we'll go back into here. Duplicate skills, and we will skill up a few people. Right, Ashcan, you in here? Advanced research. I need a researcher anyway, so you're going to go all the way up through there. Um, I'm lacking people who can use exosuits. You are one of them. You're going to go in there, despite the fact that that is going to give you a morale a hit. You are going to go there as well, and you're also going to take mechatronics engineering. And I'm going to give you improved tidying. You over here. Exosuit training. You need to... Work up through the ranks on here. So your exosuit will be the next one that you can learn. You can have exosuit training and... I'm not going to give you the... Oh, I don't have a Masterworks decorator anymore. Right, well you can do Masterworks decorating. And you in here, you've got that. Your morale is down a bit, so we'll leave that. Same with you, you've got... And you... Your morale is way down at the moment. Yours is up, so I've got... I've got two people on rocket suit navigation all the way up there. Which is a good thing. Uh, hard digging, I've got five people that can do that. We've got plenty... Of, you know what? I'm going to send you up this way and you're going to do that. I mean, now your morale is... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.